Hello and welcome my friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be my group reading for the full pink moon. Now the full pink moon is a beautiful moon that always happens in the spring and is connected in with that rebirth and growth. In April we're looking at the full pink moon coming forward and really supporting us in what's going on for us and in the world today. As I was prepping for this reading, Archangel Hanil came in and asked if she could join me. So we've now converted this uh, full moon reading into an Archangel Takeover full moon reading, which is really going to add to this nurturing, healing, and rejuvenating energy of the full pink moon. The decks I've chosen for this reading went with the Witch's Tarot and then the Healing with the Angels Oracle. I think the two of them combined together will really take on that full moon energy and then that loving, nurturing energy of Haniel as she lends her wisdom to this reading. Now, like always, there are links below to both these fantastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Now, this is a selection reading. The three choices I have are Carnelian, Rose Quartz, and Auralite. I want you to quickly look at the three crystals and choose which one speaks and resonates with you. Then in the description box below, I have timestamps for each correlating crystal. You can click on that timestamp and it'll take you straight to your reading. And I will see you in your reading. All right, my Carnelian friends, this reading is especially for you. Now, I do have the full 78 cards in my tarot deck and then the full oracle deck, so you get the most complete and full reading for you. All right, my friends, let's see what the cards have to say today. What does the full pink moon, wish to share with my carnelian friends. Okay, so you had a number of jumpers. The first card, the Seven of Cups. Sevens can be a really challenging number. They're hard to overcome. However, when we put that time and energy into it, that's when we are going to be victorious over that challenge. The seven also brings about a lot of learning opportunity because it's in that challenge, in that work, where we are able to gain the most insight into our situation. The Five of Cups. Another conflict card. This one isn't as easy as the Seven of Cups, where we're usually victorious over it if we put in that hard work. In Tarot, the Five is always that conflict number. Now, the Five of Cups is kind of interesting. It talks about focusing in on things that are not working for us. When we focus in on things that aren't working, we feel stuck we feel overwhelmed, and most of all, we have that heartache, that sense of loss. However, it does give us a way out, those two upright cups. In that two upright cups is where the universe has been trying to guide you, direct you. However, we're so stuck on what we think we should be doing, what we think we should be achieving, that we have blinders on to those messages, to that guidance that's going to help us go forward. All right. The Ace of Pentacles. That opportunity for growth. And we're seeing a lot of that. In our world today, we're seeing major shifts. That tower energy is still in play. We have the opportunity to overcome and be victorious when it comes to the illusion of the Seven of Cups. And that's what we're really feeling is the illusion right now, that uncertainty and instability. 
We're feeling it from this kind of tower-esque situation, but also we've got the illusion of the Seven of Cups, which aggravates and amplifies that energy. We need to do some hard work focusing in on what the universe is trying to tell us, giving us that direction, and that's going to help give us which of the seven deadly sins we need right now. Because we do need some of this. It's just we don't need, and it's very clear in this card, all of them. They're not all going to serve us right now. We need to take the ones that are going to serve us and bring us the most growth. And the most knowledge, the Ace of Swords. That growth and those aha moments are going to become very prevalent as we connect in, as we really reflect on what's happening and what is important to us. Those aha moments are going to support that growth and give you more of a direction with the challenges of the Five and Seven of Cups. And finally, the Two of Cups. Very much connected into the Five of Cups card. We've got two cups here. And there's two cups, well, obviously, in the Two of Cups. There are times when you have the Five of Cups that you are looking at the two different uh, cards here. The Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a community card, that celebration. The Two of Cups is that intimate relationship. When you break it down, you're looking at that relationship not with another individual. We've got the Three of Cups overturned here. We're looking at that relationship with yourself and more importantly, your higher self. When you have that very healthy relationship with your higher intuition, that's when you're going to see things fall into place. That relationship will help guide you through the Seven of Cups, and it will also help you incorporate the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Now, obviously we do have double Aces, so double Ones. In Angel Messages, when you see that multiple One, the Angels are encouraging you to believe in yourself and your abilities, that you're going to be attracting what you're thinking about and the energies that you're projecting. We really need to keep that in mind as we go forward. I've said it in past videos, when we're focusing on that negative or that doomsday energy, that's what's going to come back at us. Focusing in on the light and love, really reframing the situation as a time of learning and a time of healing. How this relates to the full pink moon is that during the full moon, you are going to gain the support you need from those high vibrational beings, that very nurturing energy of the full moon, to be able to do some connecting in, taking the time to reflect, taking the time to receive those messages and guidance. When we start to nurture and allow ourselves that time and energy to use what's right in front of us to our advantage, that's when you start to see things falling into place. Using what's right in front of us, these energies, these high vibrational beings, the moon, the sun, Gaia, having them aid us in our time of need really helps to make things a little bit easier as we literally take on these challenges. Now, I'm going to get into some guidance from Archangel Haniel. Archangel Haniel is a very gentle energy. She is connected into the full moon, into the moon energy. She works with people around their cycles, around forgotten uh, healing modalities and methods, recipes and spells. She is fantastic. She really helps us with that divine feminine energy. She came to me and asked to support you guys because, like I've said before, this is an amazing time, an opportunity to work on self and to start on that healing. So we're going to call on Archangel Haniel to share her wisdom 
her guidance, and our healing with us. Archangel Heniel, what guidance and healing Lots of jumpers here. Can you support my carnelian friends with? What a beautiful card to start out on listening. Many of us are feeling that isolation. We're supposed to be social distancing. We're supposed to be keeping ourselves in our space. We're feeling that isolation and aloneness. Archangel Hineal is being very clear that we are not alone. Those high vibrational beings are with us. We just need to ask for their support and their guidance. They are a sounding board for us and they are chomping at the bit to help us. However, they can't unless we ask them. There is zero communication problem between us and them. The communication problems lie between them and us. We have a tendency to miss those messages and that guidance. Archangel Haniel wants you guys to know that they are there for you. She is there for you. You just need to take that time to slow down Reflect in and be mindful of your surroundings. Guardian Angel. It's one of my favorite cards. Lots of people forget about their guardian. This amazing angel has been with you since conception. This angel walks with you. More importantly, they also laugh and cry with you. Knowing that they are always with us and can be one of the hardest energies to feel because they rarely leave our sides. There are times that your guardian angel may jump out to say goodbye or hello to an important family member for you. However, they are not gone long. They've agreed to be with us as we are incarnated in this life. Then we have trust. Archangel Hineal is reminding you the importance of trusting in the universe, that there is a plan. I know we feel very lost and things don't feel right, or we feel things are shifting and we're out of control. Trusting that the universe has a plan, that there is a reason for this, and that it's happening for us right now. Divine timing is essential. This is very important for us, not only individually, but globally as a species to make that shift. Additionally, she's really encouraging us to trust in our abilities. When we trust in our abilities and we trust in ourselves, that's when we can really start to make some amazing progress. Things start to fall into place and we really feel connected in. We feel more connected with who we truly are. We feel connected into those higher vibrational beings. Abundance. No matter what's happening right now, we do have abundance in our lives. Some areas may feel less full than others. However, taking that time to ensure that you reflect on that amazing abundance, connecting in, and really nurturing those aspects, nurturing what's going right in your life. We can't control what's happening. However, we can amplify and we can really intensify that abundant, high vibrational, loving energy. Remember, we do have double ones on the table. What we put out there is really important, making sure it's high vibrational and for our greater good. Serenity. I 
and using this time and embracing this serene energy that is kind of hinting up and radiating from Gaia. She's starting to heal herself and we're seeing those amazing and very dramatic photos that are coming up from all over the world on how over such a quick period of time she was able to reclaim different aspects and different parts of herself. Embracing that serene and very gentle healing energy from Gaia and then also from the full pink moon. We're really going to kind of be sandwiched in between these two amazing energies. Taking that time and just basking in that energy. The more we're able to keep in that high vibrational energy, the more we're going to be able to attract that energy, this serene, amazing energy to us so that it's going to help us move ourselves forward and to help heal us. And then finally, the cards caught up to what Heniel was saying. Healing. This is very much a time where we can start to heal ourselves, giving ourselves that extra time and energy that we have in the day and focusing it in on that healing. We've got a lot of healing to do in this lifetime and there's no better time than the present to start working on that, especially as we're sandwiched in between Gaia's amazing healing energy. Then we have on top of it that beautiful full pink moon energy. Using it to your advantage and using it to heal aspects of yourself that you may not even know need healing. Setting those intentions, asking for the support, Archangel Haniel encourages you to call on her on the full moon so that she's able to get you that healing that you need. When you call on Archangel Haniel for that support, she can then reach out to those high vibrational beings that you're going to need to aid you in this healing process. Now I want to thank Archangel Haniel from the bottom of my heart for joining us today, guiding us, sharing her knowledge and her wisdom, and most importantly, her healing energy. And I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I hope that you found this video fun and helpful and you're able to gain some insight and direction into what the full moon is going to offer you and also that amazing Archangel Hineal and what she wants to support you with. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. There is so much more amazing coming your way as the Archangels really start to come in and support me with my readings and with the healings. The best way to stay connected so you don't miss out on any of this amazing healing and insight is to subscribe to my channel and hit that little red bell. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings and healings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my friends. Hello and welcome, my Rose Quartz friends. This reading is especially for you. Now, I have all 78 tarot cards and a full deck of oracle cards so that you get the most full and comprehensive reading for you. All right, my Rose Quartz friends. Let's see what the cards have to say today. What does the full pink moon wish to share with my rose quartz friends? The first card is the four of pentacles. Now fours are a foundational stable number. The pentacle about growth and abundance. The trick here though, if you really look at this fellow, he's got a pentacle under each foot and then it's covering his root chakra. He's not grounded, he's got a false sense of stability here. Then this center one is covering up his sacral, his uh, solar plexus and his heart 
and is very close to his throat chakra. That energy blockage is very prevalent. We need to make sure that we're not turtling ourselves right now. Yes, we need that stability in play. However, we need to make sure that we are grounded and that our energy flow is strong and healthy. When we start to like curl ourselves up and turtle ourselves, we restrict that energy flow. Standing up with a strong center, ensuring that we are grounded, and taking those deep cleansing breaths to allow that energy to flow. That's what's really going to bring in that stability that we're looking for. That's going to help us to overcome any of the challenges that we're going to be faced with. The Four of Swords. She's in a better space than what the Four of Pentacles is. You can see that. She's not only, well, got both feet firmly planted on the earth, she's got her arms open. There is nothing blocking her. And that's what we need. Now the Four of Swords talks about that rest and rejuvenation. This is a time where we need to focus in on that rejuvenation, that healing. Part of it will be based on that stability that we have. And it's not that false stability, rather than that core stability that's going to help us really embrace this nurturing energy, this rest and rejuvenation that is going to be so important for us over the next coming days and weeks. And then we have the wheel, the wheel of the year, or the wheel of fortune. The tenth card in the major arcana, and it really is that seasonal change. We are embracing that spring excitement, that rejuvenation and birth. Really embraces that rebirth energy of the full pink moon that we're going to be entering into. Using that energy to amplify this rejuvenation and healing, to almost give like a, a rebirth to self, and not so much reinvent ourselves, but reconnect in with ourselves to past pieces and aspects that we'd either forgotten or didn't even know was there. This rebirth is what's really important right now. We're still in this tower energy of this global phenomenon. It's going to be important that we do have that grounded energy, that rejuvenated energy, to help us to give rebirth to what's really important to us. The full pink moon will help us and will really amplify that four of swords. Now we do obviously have double fours. In angel messages, when you have that multiple four, the angels are telling you it's a time to focus in and work on that foundation. We really need to focus in on the grounding and ensuring we have that platform to be able to shift, expand, and evolve from. So that's what the pink full moon is really encouraging us to do. Let's add in some guidance from Archangel Haniel. Now Archangel Haniel is a beautiful gentle energy that is connected with the full moon. She's connected in with that very divine feminine energy, helps us work on our cycles, and helps us to look at that fertility, the rebirth, and she also helps out with connecting in to lost healing practices and medicines that we have forgotten. She's a fantastic energy and really wants to help amplify the full pink moon and work on this healing with you. So let's connect in. So we're going to call in Archangel Haniel and ask her to help guide, support, and heal my Rose Quartz friends. So Archangel Haniel, what guidance and healing Can you provide 
my rose quartz friends. Blessings. I know it's really hard to see the blessings right now. Many of us are focused in on what's occurring around the world and those statistics and, well, in some cases, very scary reports, news reports and conferences that are happening. When we turn those down and start to connect in what's happening around us, slowing down and opening our eyes, you can start to see those miracles and blessings that are occurring all over. It's just sometimes they're hard to see. Oh, wow. Forgiveness. One of the biggest and most challenging aspects of healing that we have. Forgiveness. And that forgiveness is of self. Self-forgiveness is probably the hardest thing you'll ever try and do. Forgiving ourselves for whatever role we played in activities, aspects, events, situations, and how they've impacted us. Forgiving ourselves for allowing those past situations, events, traumas to remain and connect in with us. This forgiveness is an essential part of this healing. Taking time and setting those intentions to start to forgive ourselves. And it doesn't have to be a big, grand procession. This is something that is done in a quiet space, just you and your energies. Releasing those tethers, releasing those energies that are holding on and forgiving yourself for whatever roles you've played in different parts that are holding you down. That forgiveness will go a long way. Focus. Setting those intentions, being very mindful and planful of what it is you want to do. Whether it's this healing or even just setting out your day. Being focused and intentional will make a difference. You'll really be able to use this time to your benefit and to your greater good. Putting those plans in place, having a routine, having a schedule, so things are focused in your mind and you're able to really set those intentions, giving those energies and planning out your day so you don't feel so rushed at the end. And that planning and foresight will really help with achieving all that you want in this short time. Miracles. Like I said, those blessings and miracles are happening everywhere. We're finding everyday heroes who are helping out those in need. Acknowledging them, helping them, supporting in that blessing and miracle of your community, of those around you. And sometimes those blessing and miracles is just reaching out and giving them a quick call, connecting in, asking them how they're doing. Blessings and miracles are very different for everybody. However, they have the same result of feeling connected, feeling that unconditional loving energy and making them feel better, happier. And let's be honest, you feel better and happier when you know you're helping out others. And our final gift, self-acceptance. Really goes back into that forgiveness. Accepting you for you. We have light, we have shadow, and we have midtones. Some stuff we really like to amplify. Other stuff we like to turtle. We like to hide. Accepting you for you, accepting those darker pieces 
that you're afraid to let out, giving them that nurturing, that forgiveness and healing will help bring them into the light and help you feel stronger. I want to thank Archangel Haniel from the bottom of my heart for her amazing guidance and wisdom and healing. And I want to thank you guys for joining me today and watching this video. I hope that you found this video fun and helpful and you're able to gain some direction into the full pink moon and to what amazing blessings Archangel Haniel is offering you. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. There is so much more coming your way, my friends. The best way to stay connected so you don't miss any of this healing and insight is to subscribe to my channel and hit that little red bell so you don't miss a video. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings and healings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my friends. Hello and welcome my Aurolite friends. This reading is especially for you. Now, like always, I have a full deck of 78 cards there, and I've also got a full deck of Oracle cards, so you get the fullest and most complete reading for you. All right, my Aurolite friends, let's see what the cards have to say today. What does the full pink moon wish to share with my Aurolite friends? Ace of Pentacles. The full moon is really offering you that ability to connect in with that growth and with that abundance, giving you that extra support and oomph in what it is you want to achieve and what you need to achieve. Temperance, the 14th card in the Major Arcana. She talks about balance and energy flow. Making sure that we really utilize this time to the best of our abilities and for our greater good. Making sure we've really got that one foot on land so we're really grounded. We have that other foot in the water so we have that guidance of intuition. And we're really letting our energies flow. That energy flow through our chakras will help us with that growth and what we need to achieve over the next coming days, weeks, and months. The Eight of Wands. Eights are about movement and manifestation. That wand about using your passions and creativity to help push you forward. The full pink moon is offering you some guidance and literally some push, taking those wands and really pushing them into a javelin state so that you can progress further and have more meaning in what it is you're going to be doing. This full moon is really connecting in to unblocking you so that you are able to receive that guidance. So you have some really amazing growth in that creative and abundant aspect of your life. So whatever that creation is, those aspects that bring you joy, that help you express who it is you are, and helps to share yourself with the world. That's what the Eight of Wands is about. The Hanged Man, the 12th card in the Major Arcana, the Let It Go guy, he talks about literally letting go of some of those preconceived notions, some of those fears and anxieties, so that we are able to receive that guidance and we're able to connect in with what's really important for us. When we start to focus in on what's happening in the world, the latest statistics, 
those, in my opinion, very scary news reports and conferences that keep occurring, we limit our ability to make progress, to connect into that creative aspect of ourselves, and we really hinder that growth, and most importantly, that abundance. The Knight of Pentacles. Now, knights are that adolescent, no fear energy. That pentacle, growth and abundance. I love how you guys have the Ace of Pentacles and then you end off on the Knight of Pentacles. You have those aha moments and you have that workhorse to help you really sow through those aha moments and plant those seeds that we need. The pink full moon is connected in with rebirth. And that's what we're really looking at, kind of a rebirth of self, connecting in to those passions, those creativities, on levels that we've never done before, because we've been constrained and restrained, shown here by the hangman, in societal needs, expectations, family expectations, and parties, and desires, and pushes and pulls. We have the time, energy, and very much ability to start to focus in a little bit more on self, connecting in and incorporating those passions into our lives, planting those seeds so that those passions and that connection is fuller and deeper, and we're able to make some shifts. This situation that we're looking at globally is a tower situation. When I do readings for my clients or for you guys, we're looking at an individual reading. If we were to do a global reading, you're going to find a lot of tower cards. You're going to find a lot of death cards. We're in a time of transition. It's a needed transition. And that transition is going to be very unique to everybody. We're on an individual journey. However, collectively, the universe needed to kick us in the pants. And let's be honest, this kick in the pants has been quite the kick in the pants. It's up to us to utilize this time to the best of our advantage, using this guidance, tapping into the energies that are there for us, the pink full moon, the high vibrational beings, Gaia, the sun. We have different energies that we've been neglecting and we can really bring them into our lives and integrate them. So we're healing ourselves, connecting in, and really being able to amplify who it is we are. So now we're going to connect in with Archangel Haniel. We're going to call on Archangel Haniel to share her guidance, wisdom, and healing with my Auralite friends. Archangel Haniel, what wisdom and guidance and healing can you ooh, now she's chucking them everywhere can you share with my or light friends okay I love this card enchantment Enchantment talks about those energies we felt as kids. We could see and feel the magic and energy in everything we did. We weren't tangled up with societal constraints, with the burdens of being an adult. We need to connect into to this very carefree energy, which helps us connect into the fool and that higher vibrational energy to feel and embrace what's around us. I said we need to use those energies and things that are right in front of us. Archangel Haniel is really encouraging us to do that. Now, for those who may not know Archangel Haniel, she's a very gentle energy. She's connected in with the moon and with that divine feminine energy. She helps work with people on their cycles, those transitions, that feminine reproductive system, 
and she also helps us out with connecting in to healing modalities and medicines that we had forgotten. She's such a gentle, fantastic energy that really can help amplify the amazing rebirth energy of the full pink moon. The next card, surrender and release. We have no control over what's happening for us globally. We have been gifted a time where we can release what isn't working for us. We can avoid individual tower situations by embracing this time, releasing and letting go of what's not working in our lives. So those very constrained energies, those micromanaging, blinder-esque situations, releasing them and allowing those energies that are right in front of us to fill us with the unconditional loving energy of the universe so we are able to make those steps forward. We're able to continue on that evolution and transition that we need to. Balance. Archangel Haniel is encouraging us to maintain that balance. We can't spend all this time working on our inner selves, our higher selves, the connection in with the higher vibrational beings. We will destabilize ourselves. Making sure that you're connecting in on that physical realm, balancing out all aspects and all parts of ourselves. This also connects in to balancing out and nurturing those hidden parts of ourselves. Balance in itself can be a very challenging aspect especially when we have parts of ourselves that we're not too comfortable with or we've hidden deep within ourselves. Taking that time and setting those intentions to bring those darker places into the light, nurturing them so they can grow and develop into something beautiful and help aid you on your journey. support. Many of us are really feeling that pinch of being in isolation, those social distancing measures. They're very important for combating what we're combating. However, on an individual emotional level, that can be really hard. It can be a very challenging time. When you take that step back and really look at this picture, you realize you're not alone. You physically may ha not have another tangible being in your room. However, you have high vibrational beings, passed on loved ones, ascended masters, astral family members. The list goes on. They're literally right now doing that. If you were to do an astral projection, and if you've never done it, I don't suggest trying to do it now. It, it's kind of chaotic up there. This is really what we're looking at right now, is a lot of high vibrational beings, a lot of archangels, angels, really focusing in their energy to help heal Gaia. Now this amazing healing energy is something that not only is impacting Gaia, but we have the ability to tap into. It's not going to take anything away from Gaia, it's going to help the whole system if we start to access this amazing healing energy. So I really encourage you, especially on the full pink moon, to set those intentions. Ask Archangel Haniel to come in and support you in your healing, support you in uncovering aspects that you need to have uncovered, and she will help you. She won't she's going to kind of be a gatekeeper if you will for you she's not going to herself do a lot of this she's going to call on those high vibrational beings that will help you some of them will help heal you some of them will help guide you be open to the experiences of the full pink moon the more you're open the more you're going to receive from 
this full moon. Dreams. I just said we need to be open. That dream work is going to be important. Before you go to bed, like I said, our, ask Archangel Haniel to come in. Help get you that support you need to get you direction, guidance, and healing for your greater good. She'll get those individuals you need to help you move forward and help you have a stronger foundation. Meditation. Meditation is another fantastic way of connecting in, setting those intentions, and working with this amazing energy and guidance that is really available for you. Like I said, dream work, meditation, the more you're open through the full pink moon, the more you'll be able to take out and receive from this situation that we're faced with right now. And finally, healing. Archangel Haniel wants you to know that even though we're looking at progressing you forward and connecting into those passions and planting seeds for rebirth, this is all part of your healing process. Because as we progress forward, we start to release in a natural way different aspects and different parts of ourselves that aren't working. Focusing in on that positive, high vibrational energy really washes away some of the lower vibrational energies and those aspects that are slowing us down and holding us back. I want to thank Archangel Haniel from the bottom of my heart for coming in and supporting you and giving us guidance and healing. And I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I hope that you found it fun and helpful and you're able to gain some guidance and insight into what the full pink moon is offering you and what support is there for you through Archangel Haniel and those amazing high vibrational beings. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. As you can see here, you never know where I'm going to go next. There is so much more coming your way. The best way to stay connected so you don't miss any of this healing and insight is to subscribe to my channel and hit that little red bell so you don't miss a video. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings and healings with myself. I provided a link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my friends.